Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 Kids at 147, and it's time for tip and trick number 36. Um, now, many people have recently maybe experimented or started moving to the likes of glue dots in their pen, in their diamond painting pen, just to help with that tackiness. But you know, I do recognise as well that there is the good old fashioned trusted wax, which some people still prefer, some people use both. So today's tip and trick is in relation to that wax. So often, not always, but often the wax comes like this. So it comes with a little square, it actually has a cover on the top, a little clear cover and a cover on the other side as well and that is to help try and keep the wax um, moist Ooh, it's that word isn't it um, to help stop the wax drying out maybe that's better um, and to enable it to be popped into your pen and used now I have a piece of wax here um, that I've actually been using this is a square piece of wax. This is probably two years old, this piece of wax, this wax. I have recently moved to um, the likes of glue dots, so I'm not using it as much, though I do still use it on occasion. But my tip and trick for today is in relation to helping your wax, one, either last or second to just not dry out. So some companies already send you the wax in a pot. So we have some blue wax here with a little thank you. Um, we have another blue wax here in a pot. Comes with its protective films that you need to take off, but your pot's ready, ready to go. You can also buy some or some kits do come with wax in the likes of a macaroon pot. But one thing I do recommend, if you're just starting out, you're, you're using wax, um, you like the wax, you want to stay with the wax, then I do recommend popping wax into some form of a pot. So this pot was recently gifted to me. It, you know, this is, it, I think it, it's something that can be used for makeup. It can be used for tiny rhinestones. It can also be used for the likes of holding wax. If you have, you know, an old makeup container, maybe that you finish using, wash that out and use that. And I do recommend taking both sides, so both clear sides that help to keep the wax, you know, ready to use, and popping your wax inside a pot. Now you can always put a couple of layers if you like. I like to just use the one. Um, because I find when I then push a fresh pen tip into that, um, I just dab it in two or three times to refill. And as, as you can see, my mine gets a bit bitty as it goes along when I'm topping up pens. But pop yourself your wax in some form of pot just to help keep that air out and keep your wax lasting for longer. There will be a point you will be swimming in wax. You don't necessarily need to keep it all. You can always just use whatever comes with the kit that you get um, and you'll get plenty of wax in your next kit. But I think there's a little bit of waste not want not and the pots are pretty. So if you do use wax, try and, you know, keep your wax in a pot just to help it, you know, keep it not dry out. I'm trying not to use that word. <laughs> So just to help your wax not dry out and make your diamond painting process nicer and easier while using that wax. So a quick little one today, one that probably many people do already know, but I'm sure there'll be somebody out there that it will help. Um, but I thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll speak to you all again soon.